Ibat iba ang tao sa mundong ito isa ang kulay ng dugo Ibat iba ang tao sa mundong ito isa ang kulay ng dugo Art from the past holds clues to life in the past by looking at a work of arts, symbolism, colors, and materials, we can learn about the culture that produced it. We also can compare artwork which provides different perspectives and gives us a well-rounded way of looking at events, situations, and people. By analyzing artworks from the past and looking at their details, we can rewind time and experience what a time period different from our own time. Art helps a society evolve in its own way, which is why there are different styles of art in different countries. Without art, there wouldn't be any visual representations of the past which means that people might have doubts because art can be reviewed as historical evidence for how people lived in the past. There is a lot to be found in the timeline of art history. It begins over 30,000 years ago and takes us through a series of movements, styles, and periods that reflect the time during which each piece of art was created. Art is an important glimpse into history because it is often one of the few things to survive. It can tell us stories, relate the moods and beliefs of an era, and allow us to relate to the people who came before us. Let's explore art from prehistoric to contemporary and see how it influences the future and delivers the past. Put on your sensible shoes as we embark on an extremely abbreviated tour to our gloomy ages. The purpose of this piece is to hit the highlights and provide you with the berries of basics on the different eras in our history. Prehistoric art or cave art created by Homo sapiens, the majority of cave art depicts animals that our ancestors would have encountered or hunted during the Ice Age, such as mammoths, horses, lions, aurochs, and deer. Some human figures and other symbols are also discovered. Cave paintings are mostly created with red or black pigments made from rocks. Some artworks were painted directly onto cave walls, while some were first engraved into the stone with tools. Prehistoric art is a way of our ancestors on teaching us about the appearance and behavior of animals that have been long extinct and to find out who we are and where we came from. Cave art provides evidence of a time where our ancestors were first able to etch their thoughts into stone. What we consider ancient art is what was created from around 30,000 BCE to 400 AD. If you prefer, it can be thought of as per fertility statutes and bone flutes to roughly the fall of Rome. Many different styles of art were created over this long period. They include those of prehistory, Paleolithic, Neolithic, and Bronze Age to the ancient civilizations of Mesopotamia, Egypt, and the nomadic tribes. It also includes the work found in classical civilizations like the Greeks and Celts, as well as that of the early Chinese dynasties and the civilizations of the Americas. The artwork of this time is as varied as the cultures that created it. What ties them together is their purpose. 
Quite often, art was created to tell stories in the time when oral tradition prevailed. It was also used to decorate utilitarian objects like bowls, pictures, and weapons. At times, it was also used to demonstrate the status of its owner, a concept that art has used forever since. Ancient Greek art emphasized the importance and accomplishments of human beings. Even though much of Greek art was meant to honor the gods, those very gods were created in the image of humans. Therefore, art and architecture were a tremendous source of pride for net for citizens and could be found in various parts of the city. The Importance of Medieval Art Medieval art was popular in houses of worship and was used as decoration for the public's appreciation. Medieval art was influential in many aspects of the church, functionality, and cultural. Designs of churches have advanced over the centuries, but they all come back to a concept that is practice. I will be explaining certain cathedrals over six major periods that are distinguished by their own significant structural elements and function. The Santa Maria Maggiore in Rome was classified as a major basilica. During the late antique period, churches being built were being devoted to the Virgin Mary, also known at the time as Theotokos, or Mother of God. At the Council of Ephesus in 431, with a strong emphasis on the Virgin Mary, the architects wanted to glorify by making the interior a strong presence in the nave and apse. The Importance of Renaissance Era the word Renaissance is derivative from the French word rebirth, signifying now Europe came out of the Dark Ages, reawakening in art, culture, science, technology, and music. It was an incredible time of beauty, consuming with creativity and curiosity. The Renaissance was a cultural, scholarly, and social political movement which stressed the rediscovery and application of texts and thought from classical antiquity. It brought new discoveries in science, new art forms in writing, painting and sculpture, and state-funded explorations of distant plants. So, why is it important? Most people will just think of the form paintings of this era, but the Renaissance was much more than great art. The major focus of this era was humanism, art and literature, which is still alive and working today. Major Contribution of Renaissance Period The development of perspective in oil painting The recycled knowledge of how to make concrete Gothenburg perfect death printing Columbus discovered America Copernicus found that the earth revolved around the sun Martin Luther founded a new religion Da Vinci and Michelangelo created a new form of art Shakespeare was writing his famous plays Painters develop other techniques studying light and shadow, and Da Vinci making observational drawing of anatomy. The importance of OP art. OP art is a form of abstract art, specifically non-objective art which relies on optical illusions in order to pull the eye of the viewer. It is also called optical art or retinal art. OP art is perfectly in line with traditional canons of fine art. All traditional painting is based upon the illusion of depth and perspective. OP art merely broadens its inherently illusionary nature by interfering with the rules governing optical perception. OP art go back to pre-war painting theories, including the constructivist ideas of the 1920s Bauhaus design school in Germany, which stressed the importance of the overall formal design in creating a specific visual effect.
pop art was the first movement to declare the reality that advertising and commercial endeavor were actually form of art. With the advent of pop art, trends and fashion become subsumed into an all-encompassing phenomena that seek to merge the whole cultural endeavor into a singular aesthetic style. Pop artists favored realism, everyday imaginary, and heavy doses of irony and wit. Many pop artists including Andy Warhol and Royal Lichtenstein were very aware of the past. They sought to connect the tradition of fine art with the mass culture of television, advertising, film, and cartoons. It is essentially a type of art that provides commentary on a world events and consumerist culture. Conceptual art includes a number of different art practices. Some of them you surely must admire. If something is classified as conceptual art, it doesn't mean that there is no aesthetics in it. Many assume that conceptual art is purely philosophical and that it doesn't have anything to do with art. However, that's not the case. If you want to learn more about conceptual art, be sure to check out the Paul Wood's book entitled Conceptual Art, Movements in the Modern Art. Paul Wood's conceptual art is essential reading for everyone who wants to understand exactly how and why exhibitions of contemporary art have come to include anything and everything from pickled sharks to mass-produced toilets, piles of rubbish to multi-screen videos. Although many people do not like conceptual art, it must be argued argued that it has been one of the most dramatic and important turns in art. The expansion of art makes it easier for an artist to work it whichever way he or she feels comfortable. It was crucial to what, to what art has become nowadays, and I shudder to think what would have happened if the movement have not occurred. Sa sining ay lalaya ka